haven't already, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Get all the notifications for my awesome, awesome videos, guys. Bring it on. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to Favorite by Odin. My name is Theodore, and today we're going to be going into our second day of lessons. We're going to be doing lessons um, 6 through 10 of JavaScript's algorithms and data structures, the basic JavaScript stuff. Um, and so we're going to jump right in with lesson number six. And this one is declaring string variables, which is really easy. Um, so this lesson, it just wants us to um, declare two variables, my first, la uh, my first name and my last name, and then assign um, our first name and last names to them. So I'm going to put these up here, and we're going to assign our names to them. Um, so equals... Um, so we're going to use um, quotation marks on this because it is a string variable and we're going to go Theodore and um, Odinkin. And we're not going to use camel case here. Okay, so lesson number six, guys, we're understanding uninitialized variables, which means uh, if a variable like var a that you see on my screen right here, uh, right now, it is not initialized, but they're trying to use it in a variable or in a uh, an equation or in a piece of code, if I could highlight it, um, which isn't working out great for them because it's just going to come back as undefined or you're going to get an error, um, man, which means not a number. Um, so what we what we need to do is we need to add uh, some some um, values to these variables. So that's really easy. We just go through and we add our equal signs all the way down. And now they equal nothing, but we're going to throw a five in here. We're going to throw a 10 in here. And then only for strings, even if the string is a number, um, like if this was, if I was going to use a string for this, um, but it was a number, I'd put 10 here, right? But we're actually going to use I am a is what the instructions want you to do. And that way, um, everything comes back uh, defined as something, right? So var A would come back as 6, um, var B would come back as 15, and var C would come back as I am a string. Um, notice how these guys have put the um, space in here um, so that uh, when it comes back uh, in console, you end up with a space in between a and string. Otherwise, if they didn't do that, we'd have to add it here. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and run this code and we have succeeded. Okay, lesson number seven is pretty simple. Uh, we're talking about capitalization um, and case sensitive, sensitivity <laughs> in variables. And um, basically we just need to make sure that everything is input in the same format so that everybody can read and write in our code. So if we're working with a team, they all know uh, what camel case is, they're all gonna use it. And the point is to keep everything 100% um, because like if I was to create some variables that looked like this, um, nobody would be able to work with my code because it would just be too confusing. So camel case looks like this. Basically, we're gonna take away the capital S at the beginning and there's gonna be no other capitals in the um, there's going to be no other capitals in the uh, variable other than the any words that come in after the first word are capitalized. The first letter is capitalized. So this would be proper camel case. This would be proper camel case. And then this one here, we need to remove the capital T and, and add a regular T. And then that one becomes proper camel case as well. So we're going to go control C, control D. Why do more work than you have to? Control C, control D, control C, control V. And that should be it. That should be all we have to do. Um, 
basically, again, just make sure that you're using camel case so that other people can work on your code and you can work on other people's code. It's just a good practice to get into. And there we go. That was lesson seven, guys. Section number nine, lesson number nine, guys. Uh, we're working on making sure that uh, we know the difference between var and let keywords or, um, yeah, keywords. Basically, what we need to do in this is update the keywords so that they're not going to be able to be changed later in the code, um, which might not be a big problem in smaller pieces of code, but in bigger pieces of code, um, you want to be able to um, maintain your keywords or your variable words. So right now we have the var keyword here, and that is not good because if we're writing a big piece of code, that can be changed really easy. Um, and so we want to change these to let. Um, let doesn't let you change them um, that easy. So uh, when we test this, that's exactly what they were looking for. On to the next one. So we're on to lesson number 10 and lesson number 10, we're going to be declaring a read only variable with the constant keyword um, and that's const. So that's what, um, um, hold on, let me see here. Bum, 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 bum. So to be honest with you, let and const, um, they seem to be very similar to me. Um, apparently const has all of the added benefits of the let variable, but it prints as uh, <clears throat> it's, it comes as read only, so you can't change it. But I thought you couldn't change a let. So if um, somebody could clarify in the comments, I'd really appreciate that. Um, just because you know, I'm learning too. So and we're doing this together. So let's let's work together. Nice guys, I appreciate it. Uh, so in this uh, in this challenge in this lesson, uh, we want to change the code so that all the variables are declared using the let or const um, keywords. Use let when you want the variable to be changed and const when you want the variable to remain constant. Okay, so I guess it can be changed if it's let. Also rename variables declared with the const to confirm to a common practice, conform to a common practice. Don't change this, do not change the string assigned to the variables. Okay, so we're not changing the string at all. We're making sure that all of this is actually the way it should be. Um, so we're going to use let and const. And let's see if we pass. Uh, you should change FCC to all uppercase. Oh, FCC should be all uppercase. Okay, there we go. All done, uh, lessons six through 10, guys. I'm gonna be doing another video tomorrow of lessons uh, 11 through 15. Super excited to keep on this, uh, this train with you guys and stay tuned till the end of the video to watch my bloopers. Cheers, guys. Take number 21. All right, lesson number 10, guys. And, ah, uh, why'd I do that? <laughs> Please, if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. Um, hit that little uh, bell notification so that you get all the updates of all the new videos that we're doing. I can't wait to see you guys uh, in all of my videos. So thank you so much for watching.